Most teachers realize that visual images are powerful tools for teaching English. However, one type of visual image often gets overlooked, cartoons. Here are some examples of how you can use cartoons and comics in the EFL ESL classroom. Many cartoons and comics have a distinct advantage. They are usually very simple and easy to understand. Today I'm going to show you two examples of things you can do with cartoons. First, I'm going to show my students two similar pictures and tell them there are ten differences between them. Just to make it more fun, I'll have them work in pairs and we'll do it as a race. Whichever team finds all ten first wins. So I have a sheet here that has two different pictures, but um, in the picture, there are ten differences that you have to find. Oh, good. Okay. And what we're going to do is you're going to work in groups with uh, with your partners, and basically, I want you to find the ten differences. Okay. Okay. And whoever finds the ten differences first wins. Wow. Okay. Okay. So when I say go, you can turn over your your paper and start. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Go. Mm, that's good. La flap. La flap. Mm. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this one. Got it. Oh, very nice. Oh, cool. Oh, First? Yeah. Okay, so tell me what, what are the differences? What are the ten differences in these two photos? Uh, we have. There, in one, one picture, say open and they are closed. Okay, the great. The sign of the door, yeah. The sign says open and close. <laughs> Above the, the sign, uh -huh. there's a number, 251, mm -hmm. and the other one just 25. Okay, so then I'm going to give them a comic strip without any words, and students will have to tell the story frame by frame. This is called a picture dictation. I try to choose one that has a surprise ending just to make it a little more interesting. What I have here is uh, a comic strip, and I'm going to give each of you a sheet, and I want you to tell me what is going on in each picture only using the past tense. Okay? Okay. And you can look at the picture for about a minute, and afterwards we will uh, do a presentation. So is everyone done? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kyung, what did you get for your story? When she gets the calendar, she realizes realizes her her friend's birthday is was coming soon. Mm -hmm. Then she went to the pet store and saw an exotic bird that could speak different languages. Mm -hmm. She bought she bought to get. She bought the bird. She bought the bird mm -hmm. for presents. So she paid paid fifty thousand dollars for <laughs> that bird. And the day of the the birthday, her, her friend was eating her gift. Yeah, <laughs> ate the bird. Yeah, ate. <laughs> All right. Maybe he had a great meal. So she ate the bird. Yeah, she okay. ate the bird. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. The first activity can be used to practice teaching points such as comparative adjectives or prepositions. The second one is a great way to practice general speaking or introduce new vocabulary. Another thing you can do with comics is to blank out the dialogue and have students guess what the characters are saying in each frame. Or you can have them write their own dialogue. There are even free online comic strip generators available where you can make your own. Of course, if you don't have the time to make your own, comics and cartoons are always as close as your local newspaper stand.